means that we're facing the rest of the pride just in case they do get up and walk off into the bush as I suspect they're going to because that's going to be quite thick bush so I don't think we're going to be able to follow them too easily if they do decide to move. Have a nice view of them there for you. Hi, Vicky, welcome on board. And we've got the younger members of the Pride here, the young Kahumas. And you can see that pink nose I was telling you about. So and lots of yawning which tends to mean they're getting more oxygen into their bodies so the one that was yawning is likely to get up first possibly although they do lure you in for sense of security and then they'll actually lie back down for a few minutes and then get back up again and then it's like you know what I'm actually going to get up <laughs> so yeah but if a cat starts yawning keep an eye on it and the big male's put his head up as well and he's looking straight into the sunlight. That's beautiful. Vicky wanting to know if I've had any interesting encounters with lions. Oh, yes. <laughs> lots and lots. And I'll see what he's going to do. If he's going to decide to stand up or not. But yeah, this little one's still yawning. <laughs> but yeah, I've had some really amazing encounters uh, with lions and probably the most memorable for me uh, was during a, a training exercise. Uh, we were actually tracking the lions. And we'd been going for about two or three hours with uh, a wonderful guy called Adrian Lowe. And he's probably one of the best trackers in South Africa. He is absolutely amazing. So I was still a very young guide back then, uh, still learning about tracking. <laughs> Hello! Good, how are you? Very good to see you. No problem. Is there anyone else? Oh, have they? Ah, I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be back. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew's just parked behind us, uh, so I haven't seen Andrew. Obviously, the same as uh, everybody else as well. Uh, but Andrew's always been uh, helping us out throughout the years. So uh, yeah, as I say, we we were looking for tracks, and uh, we started going off into the bush. And the the two trackers were up ahead. It was actually their exercise. I just went along uh, just to see what it was all about. And Adrian says, oh, where did you see the, the, the tracks? So we were tracking the younger adults. And I said, no, mate, back on the road. We could not see anything in the bush. I was like, <laughs> I just did not have the eyes at that stage. So the guys were up ahead of me, uh, probably about 15 metres or so. And they were scratching around for tracks. And I'm thinking, you know what? It's now been three hours. We're never going to find these lions. And it was getting to be midday. So tracking's very difficult when the sun's high. And just as I'm thinking that, about 10, 15 metres to my right, uh, just between, yeah, probably about two o'clock from me, I hear this rustle. And just as I'm comprehending the rustle of the bush, a very low... <laughs> And if you can imagine the scene from The Lion King where Simba and Scar are going slow motion into that fight, <laughs> that is exactly what came out of the bush. And it was still, it was slow, slow motion in my, my mind. So if you can imagine Simba jumping out, main swept back, that slow motion, and there stood one of the biggest lions in South Africa. He broke the scales at 300 kilos. So this was a big man.
male. He stood there in front of us and he was quite happy. I don't, and I tell you, to this day, I have no idea how those trackers got behind me. <laughs> I was behind Adrian. They were then behind me. I did not see them move, but they were behind me. <laughs> <laughs> making sure that they were actually behind uh, the protective rifle now we're starting to get a little bit more movement from these guys so the male was quite happy he told us you know what I don't want you here we'd all group together and Adrian was eh, no don't you know sort of shouting standing our ground so he decides no he's going to walk away so we decide okay we're going to walk away but then he decided you know what I don't like you walking so he turned around and charged us again. We then, he walked away, we then walked away. But this time, somewhere over where the trackers had been looking for tracks, the female decided she was going to charge. And I'm going to leave you there because this is really, really cute. I'll carry on the story after. <laughs> for whatever reason, the cub is taking a stick along. This is not fetch. <laughs> and here comes a slightly older cub. So I'm thinking these sets of cubs are slightly, slightly different in age. So probably from two different females, which just goes to show the females coming into East just roughly around the same time. So there's not much difference. It's like a month or so between them. So the females came into East just around the same time. There we go. Heading off to the females at the back. So we're probably going to pull in a little bit further forward now that all members of the Pride are on that side by the looks of it. And just see the group coming together nuzzling each other, greeting each other after their snooze. Cubs are going, come on, get up, mum. Mum's gone, um, no. <laughs> Five more minutes. Okay, you can see that black on the back of the ears, so when they're all hunting, they can see each other, see where each other is in the long grass, and it really does stick out. There we go. And the black tip on the tail, which the cubs will often follow mum's black tip. Again, you can see that quite nicely as she's walking off into the thick bush. You can see how easy it is to follow that. And it's nice, it's a nice eye height for very small cubs. So a follow me sign. So she's finding a little bit more shelter from the sun now. The sun's going to start getting a bit of heat. A little bit of play fighting there. Practicing the death grip. And who better to practice on than your sibling? And I think Byron's found you some birds to have a look at. So we're going to have a look at what they are. <laughs> 